They say that when you really need to pee, wiggling your body can actually help you hold it a little longer. And honestly, when that urge hits, most people start squirming without even realizing it. To find out if this trick actually works, the team decided to run a little experiment. First, they did a control test. All three of them drank two liters of water on an empty bladder and recorded how long they could hold it before rushing to the bathroom. During the test, they just went about their normal work routine. No bathroom breaks allowed until they were completely desperate. In the end, Tori and Grant both lasted about two hours, while Carrie somehow held it for two hours and 40 minutes, and her urine volume was even 30% higher than Tori's. So what if they tried moving around the whole time? Would that help them last even longer? The next day, they repeated the test. Again, they emptied their bladders, drank two liters of water, and for the first hour, everyone felt fine. But as time went on, things got interesting. Grant started bending over and clenching his teeth just to keep it in, while Tori and Carrie tried to distract themselves by dancing around. Surprisingly, Carrie still looked the most relaxed. After about an hour and a half, Tori finally couldn't take it anymore and sprinted to the bathroom, half an hour earlier than the first test. 20 minutes later, Grant's bladder was about to explode, while Carrie was still gracefully twisting and dancing, holding on for a full two hours and 45 minutes. But the data didn't line up. Wiggling actually helped the woman hold it longer, but made the guys give up faster. To figure out why, they ran a third and final test. This time, they tried something different. Total mental and physical relaxation. The idea was to ignore the discomfort and block the feeling of pressure for as long as possible. At two hours and five minutes, Tori was once again the first to dash to the bathroom. Carrie finished at almost the exact same time as before, but Grant surprised everyone. This time, he managed to hold it for two hours and 46 minutes. After all three rounds, they came to one conclusion. How long a person can hold their pee doesn't really depend on tricks or movement. It's all about individual endurance. 